This is Doug Varnberg and welcome back to another set of tips and tricks. In this tips, I'm going to talk to you a little about a new product that I'm going to use for 2013. It's called the Fish Guardian and it's an electronic dispenser for catch and release formula. Like the U2 Pro formula or you can use granule formula, you'll have to pre-mix it in a uh, warm water in like a two liter bottle. You mix a bottle of it in with a two liter to automatically dispense. So let's get down into what it's going to take to install and what all comes in your kit. First thing we're going to do is open up our box, the Fish Guardian box. You can buy this at fishguardian.com uh, or visit your local boat dealer. Uh, there's a lot of dealers that are starting to stock this product. Inside our box, we're going to have the main component is going to be our tank. We'll have our wiring. This has got all the fittings, enough to do a single tank can actually be used if you've got divided live wells to do two tanks or you can just do a single tank. We've got our hose, a couple zip ties, and our dispensering button. Just a simple button you can place on your console or up underneath uh, to operate the fish guardian. And then, last but not least, there's a decal and the instruction sheet. And we're going to go through the instruction sheet to show you everything that you need. There is an optional bracket that will allow you to mount the fish guardian. Uh, in your boat if you need a, an additional resource to find a find a place in the back end the, of your boat to do it. I'm going to show you on the table today um, that way you can see how it actually operates in uh, this simulation of a live well this tub here. Okay by the instructions the first thing we should do is mount our tank. So you would find a spot in your boat to mount the bracket. What you will need is a 10 millimeter wrench 10 millimeter socket, something to cut the hose, a drill with a 1964 drill bit in it to install the spray nozzles in the, in the tank. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the bracket loose here. On the back of the pump, or on the back of the tank, there's this black bracket. You'll just want to slide it out. And what we're going to do is we're going to mount that to our bracket with the screws that were provided. To tighten the nut on this, you'll need just a 12 millimeter wrench, and you'll want to face it where it's pointed down here. If you can see here, we're facing this nozzle pointed down. It's uh, the flat side of this has got your nozzle on it. Put that in. This is a little easier uh, doing it outside of the boat, but it, uh, this will give you a good example of uh, what it takes to install one of these. So we're going to tighten that in. We have our single nozzle set up hooked into our live well. If you're using the single disperser, you will use the common connector here. If you're doing a two, two live well system, you would use the Y connector. You will need to put the anti-drain back valve in line. It is, is supplied in the kit. Everything you need is supplied in the kit except the tool. Now since we are going to set this up as a dual system, we'll act like this is a divider, solid divider in between here. The water is not going to flow back and forth. We're going to actually install our second head nozzle on the opposite side. Right there, 
going to set that. We're going to set this up as a two live oil system since that's what my Skeeter bass boat has. Install that other nozzle through the port there. So now you can see we've got our two systems in here and we're going to flip this around so you can see this, the wiring of this. Next we'll take our tube our tubing here uh, you would connect it to the pump and run it over here. We're just going to do it a little different since we're going to come from here we're going to put our T-valve in here and you would just measure the distance that you'd need. You'll need about there. We're going to cut it off. One of the things I recommend is uh, lubricate this with water and good old uh, human body uh, moisture there. Also will do to help slide that on. A little soap will help slide it on. And then we're going to cut another piece the same length. You would be measuring this out on your boat to the exact length. Once you get these on, the small clamps, you can put that around here to make sure they positively stay on. Now that we have that on, we're going to cut just a little short piece, about two inches long. And we're going to install the anti-drain back valve. You'll want the black side towards the live well. I'm going to double check this to make sure I'm telling you straight. You'll want to insert a piece on the anti-drain back valve. And you'll want this black end you got a white end and a black end. You want the black end towards the live well. So we're going to put our little piece on here. And then from that, we just need a piece of appropriate tubing length from where you mounted the pump to the T-valve. So we're going to spin it around here. Pretty simple. About anybody can do it. I like the YouTube Pro formula myself because it's a liquid version, one thing. It doesn't settle out. The other thing, it's designed to work with the oxygenators that I use in my live wells. Uh, it won't harm them. Uh, it doesn't have salt in it to cause concerns with uh, fish care. Uh, salt and uh, in catch and release formulas with oxygenators when the when it's electronically broken down, actually can create uh, sodium chloride gas. Now we have it in here, we're just going to have to pump it up to, it's filling up the line I can see back here. So we put our leads on our little battery supply here. We're going to take our pump and you hit the button and, you, and you'll see the material start coming into the two, three. Look how that three seconds is about all you need and you'll see that material, that fish formula go into the water and mix with it. And as you run the aerators, it'll mix with the water. So that's all you got to do is just, I mean, you catch a fish, boom, you hit the button and you're dosing your live well Simple and easy. You don't have to go hunt around for your fish formula. All you got to do is hit the little button that's on your dash and you dose the thing. I'm going to bring the camera in real quick so you can see how 
Well, this does this. All you have to do is hit our button right here. Watch the nozzles. And it's dispensing our U2 Pro formula into the live well to treat it. Now, wasn't that pretty simple to install? The operation of it, I mean, it's simple. Uh, it's, it's so simple, I can't believe it's taken this long before it's hit the market. But fish care is something that I really, really feel the need as an angler to preserve our fisheries for the future. If I can release every fish I catch back in the wild so they can be caught again, uh, I'm leaving this world a better place. Uh, there's nothing wrong with uh, keeping fish to, to eat and consume them, but if we can restore those good fish back in the water, we're gonna, they're going to make a lot of babies and they're going to make a lot of more fish and it's going to be a lot more fun on the water. So, so check out the Fish Guardian. Also check out the U2 Pro Formula. Uh, they're both great products to help us preserve and to give something back to the to nature and in our environment and give back health, healthier, better fish. Uh, I watched a deal from Mike Long. Uh, he is a uh, giant fish catching machine. I mean, he catches huge bass out in California. And he had a neat little segment that talked about preserving fish. And, and, and if you're gonna take pictures of fish, the length of time you should have that fish out of the water because it, so you don't damage or hurt them. Uh, he estimated 30 seconds was a was a max of fish should be out of the water. Uh, so if you're going to catch, you know, catch, photograph, and release CPR, uh, the Fish Guardian would be an excellent tool to put on your boat for that. So it's not just for tournament anglers; it's for recreational anglers and people that care about catching fish, having fun, snapping a few photos for those memories of a lifetime, and releasing those fish back in the water. It's a catch and release product to make it simpler, easier, and to help preserve our resource. Thank you for tuning in to another set of tips and tricks. And tune in next time as I show you more new products coming from the market and, and better ways to get the most out of your money. Thank you and have a great day and tight lines.